One of the downfalls about not shooting in a specific location for a time is that you tend to lose your edge when it comes to the little things. In this case, one of those little things is that I forgot about the long, obtrusive shadows that are cast by the low-hanging morning sun. Operator error number one. Because of that oversight, you'll just have to deal with the shadow sweep of the utility pole on today's Train 11Z. 11Z has three engines, two online and the last unit offline. The first unit is a Dash 9 rebuild that is now one of the newest AC44C6Ms on the roster with the second Dash 9 soon to be following in its footsteps. The SD70 ACU number 7328 is one of 100 such rebuilds of former Union Pacific SD90 Max. It's also one of about only 50 that are still currently in active service on the railroad. The other half is currently in storage. At the beginning of this video, you heard our next train the Binghamton, New York, northbound train 14R. 14R had to stop at CP679 to get permission from RWIC Chandler through his work zone stretching from CP679 to CP673. If you're accustomed to this channel, then you know that I'm talking about the DuPont Junction and Taylor Yard. What you might not have known is what that Rule 752 was all about. It's a Norfolk Southern exclusive order that prohibits the movement of trains or any other non-authorized equipment within the boundaries of a specified work limit. In practice, it's used when maintenance of way holds a track authority within defined limits and a train also needs to enter those limits. The train is issued a track authority, usually with a Box 12 or Box 13 special instructions item that states that Rule 752 is in effect and names the maintenance of way foreman in charge. In our case, that foreman is R.W. Chandler. The train crew then takes verbal instructions from the maintenance away foreman about how fast and how far to operate within those limits. The rail gang foreman is the roadway worker in charge of the rail gang doing track work between DuPont Junction and Taylor Yard. Train 14R wants to enter these same limits and proceed northward toward Binghamton. The rail gang foreman is the only one who can authorize the train's entrance into his limits and all movements will be made at restricted speed unless the foreman authorizes a higher speed. You heard all of this and more at the opening of this video. 
In this case, the 14R had to stop before entering the limits of CP679 and get permission from Chandler and then alert the dispatcher so that the dispatcher could talk the crew past the control point. That means that the dispatcher is verbally giving the train crew permission to move past the stop signal there. Here's another exchange between that same train 14R and the dispatcher playing it all out in real time. Checkbox 3, you work between CP679 and 679 and CP673, 673 on main 1 ONE track. Checkbox 12, rule 752, RWIC Chandler between CP679, 679 and CP673, 673 on the main 1 track. Track authority is 7887, two boxes checked, 3 and 12, copy by McDonald. Good copy, 7887, 3 and 12, copy by McDonough. Okay, at 10. Three four one zero three four AM dispatcher J R D over. Track thirty seven eight eight seven two boxes checked three and twelve copy by McDonough okay at one zero three four that's one zero three four in the AM dispatcher J R D over. Roger could read back. Let me know when you are stopped at six seventy nine. We'll get you talked by. Roger, out. we'll give you a show. Of course, let me know when you get permission from uh, R W I C channel or head. And when he tells you you're clear of your limits. Uh, Listen for him to tell you that, and maybe he'll let you go normal speed or something. I don't know. Okay, Roger. Here's what got me out for this train in the first place. The leading SD70 ACC number 1808. I'd run into this locomotive before on a corresponding train 11Z about a year ago back in 2019. Brand new she was. And as you can see by this image, my efforts in capturing her beauty were less than successful. So today provided an opportunity to correct the mistakes I made the first time. You can see this full train in the video T93. There's a link in the description just in case you missed it. Train 14R crept up on me with ghostly silence instead of the usual cacophony of raucous sound and clamor. Because of that, I almost missed a shot. It's also the reason why we only get one angle of this train today. Operator error number two. I had to show you the ending of this train. Check out the patched empty well cars and the brand new bathtub gondola. Ironically, both are lettered for the IFTS. Answering for Chandler to KD1. Hello, RW Birdage answering for Chandler. We're stopped at CP679, Chandler to rule 752, and we have permission past the stop signal at CP679 from the dispatcher. Over. Understood, KD1. Uh, I talked to Chandler. He asked me to relay for him. He, he can't. Uh, he can't hear you. But uh, you have his permission. Uh, working under rule 752 to uh, proceed into the work limits. Uh, you're authorized up to Avoca to do your work at this time. Over. Understood. RW Brunich answering for Chandler gives K81 with the NS9952 permission into RW Chandler 752 limits at CP679 to CP673 stopping to work at Avoca. Over. Another reason that I was trackside was to catch the Delaware Lackawanna train DL3 lug 77 loaded carloads up from Taylor to Steamtown. I waited at the Luzerne Street overpass thinking that I would hear this train's approach, but just like with the 14R, I end up almost missing the shot. Operator error number three.
I caught the tail end of DL3 at track level and called it a day. If you learned a little bit about train speed and operations in this video, please give it a like. Also, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, then please become a subscriber. And if you have a question about something you heard in this video, leave it in the comments and I'll try my best to answer it. For Trains 21, call me AC.